so the first thing which i will try to take up is the biodiversity hotspots especially you have to study this in terms of india ek second is pe isme se open nahi karna hai mujhe is se open karna hai first let me open it and then i am sharing my screen Ah, I will now share my screen. Dikh raha hai? Are you able to see this? Yes, sir. so hot spot what do you uh, the, what do you mean by hot spot hot spot is a location or area where you have huge biodiversity present and that means uh, what is biodiversity it is the different types of uh, numbers of species which are present so hot spot india as a hot spot of uh, as a mega biodiversity hot spot so india you guys find places in india where you have thousands and thousands of species living in a place in sikkim uh, somewhere even in uh, uh, assam the western ghats ha uh, pune ye sab area western ghats jo hai khandala all these places so what is a biodiversity hot spot a biodiversity hot spot is a biogeographical region that is both a significant reservoir of biodiversity and is threatened with destruction so a one geographical region where where different types of animals uh, uh, different species of animals they live and most important thing is that it is also threatened with destruction because human beings they want land for making homes development mining trees for wood and all these things so when you are dead uh, cutting them up so these species they lose their home and they die out so there is an extinction of biodiversity hotspot so this concept was introduced by norman myers and it uh, the hotspots represent an opportunity to help conserve the diversity of life on earth for example the amazonian rainforest in brazil it's a biodiversity hot hotspot this forest produce huge number of uh diver animals uh, so you uh, so they have marked certain regions where these have to be conserved you cannot destroy them so these hot spots people will come here they will see the different types of species over there and so for, for uh, to qualify as a biodiversity hot spot so the, it must have two criteria first it must uh, contain at least 0.5 or Uh, 1500 species of vascular plants as endemics so endemics means it originates it is the resident of that area bahar se laya hua nahi hai wahi ka hi hai so it should have at least 1500 species of vascular plants and it has to have lost at least 70% of its primary vegetation because of some uh, reason because of certain destruction 70% of primary vegetation barbad ho gaya so then the question comes that uh, it is it becomes a hot spot because it has at least 1500 species and 70% of its primary uh, vegetation uh, is lost because of destruction so hot spot has got two places first biodiversity different types of species and second it first stage is facing destruction clear Yes, okay okay so this is what i have so like this 36 hotspots have been identified all over the world and the, the world and some of them are located in tropical areas so these sites support nearly 60% uh, of the world's plant uh, mammal reptile amphibian species with a very high share of those species as endemic so ये जो 36 हॉटस्पॉट्स विच हैव बीन आइडेंटिफाइड देयर इन द ट्रॉपिकल एरियाज एंड 
सिक्सटी परसेंट ऑफ द वर्ल्ड प्लांट्स एनिमल्स रहता है इसमें एंड uh, ये वही का ही है इट इज फ्रॉम देयर इट सेल्फ देर फोर इट इज अट स्पॉट so there are certain hotspots in this you have to conserve these hotspots initiatives first is the critical ecosystem partnership fund cepf ha huh? then the worldwide fund for nature ye naam janna bahut important hai bird life international so these region ye lal mein area dikh rahe lal lal area world map mein are you able to see these red areas yes sir ha uh, ye these are the hotspots so you have the critical ecosystem partnership fund uh, then you have the world wide fund for nature then bird life international ye more, more most important cheez initiatives hai so where are the biodiversity hotspots ye hai it is lower hot for jammu kashmir himachal pradesh region assam some parts of uh, sundarban west bengal some parts of urissa jungle at the western ghats yahan pe western ghats and you have these region these are the biodiversity hotspots in india you have to study about india so ye uh, isko copy mein likh lena what are the biodiversity hotspots in india theek hai so india as a mega biodiversity hotspot ye textbook se hi utar matlab mere notes se hi utara hua hai isko paste kiya hua hai yahan pe so 15000 species of flowering plants are present 53430 species of insects ye so many types of mollusks so many types of invertebrates you have to represent so these are present in this region so uh, There are ten biogeographical zones. ये जो दे ट्रांस हिमालयाज हिमालयाज डेजर्ट सेमी एरिड वेस्टर्न घाट्स डेकन प्लेट पेनसुलर गैंजेटिक प्लेन कोस्टल एरियाज नॉर्थ ईस्ट देन द आईलैंड ये सब रीजन टेन बायोजोग्राफिक जोन है जम्मू कश्मीर से एकदम अंदमान कन्याकुमारी तक इट इज डिफरेंट देर आर डाइवर्सिटी so to preserve rich biodiversity nine biosphere reserves have been set up ha huh? in the deccan peninsula nilgiris covering tamil nadu andhra pradesh karnataka then you have the nanda devi in the uttarakhand the western himalayas the nokrek in meghalaya manosh and dibru saikhowa in assam sundarbans sundarban mein you, you did not have but it's a very a great place to have your excursions the great nicobar ye nico andaman nicobar islands and the gulf of manar in tamil nadu so himalayas the himalaya region with its diverse have lots of the, so what you have to study over here is how many mammalian species how many bird species and how many reptile species are found over here this is the himalayan region so yeah Uh, area seven hundred fifty thousand so many kilometers, ah, so Lord Himalayan tigers and everything is present. Original extent it had so many square kilometers. Remaining vegetation itna se itna ho gaya one eighty five bacha hua hai. Number of plant species are endemic three one six zero. Number of threatened uh, endemic birds eight. Threatened mammals four mammal extinct hone wala hai. एम्फीबियंस चार सो एक्सटेंट ऑफ प्रोटेक्टेड एरिया इतना एरिया प्रोटेक्टेड है बाकी सब में उल्टा सीधा होता है काम सो दिस इज द स्पीशीज डाइवर्सिटी एंड इंडिया सो प्लांट्स का थाउजेंड स्पीशीज है थ्री हंड्रेड मैमल्स है नाइन सेवेंटी सेवन बर्ड्स यू हैव वन सेवेंटी सिक्स रेप्टाइल्स वन हंड्रेड एंड फाइव एम्फीबियन टू सिक्सटी नाइन फ्रेश वाटर स्पीशीज इतना स्पीशीज है उसमें एंडेमिक मतलब फ्रॉम देयर इट Okankari, that is three one six zero endemic species. There twelve mammals, fifteen birds, forty eight uh, reptiles, forty two amphibians, thirty three freshwater fishes. So, and this is a percentage. I calculate. Kiya hua hai. Ye, you have to learn this. Yeah, we numbers is very important. Then the Indo Burma region. Ah, so same cheese. 
these are the animals which are found over there brahmaputra area assam mein so this is the this area also you have to study these are the hot spot areas in india whole world ka padhne ka zarurat nahi hai sirf india ka so uh, himalayas ka ho gaya yahan ka bhi endemism you have to study then you have the sunda lands malaysia ka area mein ye padhne ka zarurat nahi hai malaysian area but uh, pehle ye tha syllabus mein abhi nahi hai वेस्टर्न घाट दिस इज वेरी इंपॉर्टेंट वेस्टर्न घाट होता है कि एकदम वेस्टर्न साइड ऑफ इंडिया वो कोंकण कोस्ट ऑफ कर्नाटका देन यू हैव गोवा सम महाराष्ट्र कुछ का हद तक यहाँ पे माउंट आबू तक चला जाता है राजस्थान में दैट दैट इज द वेस्टर्न घाट तो वेन यूर ट्रेन गोज टू वर्ड बॉम्बे यू गो टू खंडाला एंड पूना एंड ऑल दीज एरिया वेस्टर्न घाट इज वेरी रिच इन वाइल्ड लाइफ डाइवर्सिटी दिस इज साउथ वेस्टर्न इंडिया टू द हाई अपू साउथ वेस्टर्न श्रीलंका सेपरेटेड बाई फोर हंड्रेड स्ट्राइकिंग सिमिलर इन द जियोलॉजी क्लाइमेट एवोल्यूशनरी हिस्ट्री सो वन हंड्रेड एंड सिक्सटी थाउजेंड किलोमीटर स्क्वेर गुजरात गुजरात सब जगह है इसमें So this is this data. You have to remember this data. This is this data also. You have to remember. So what are the threats to biodiversity hotspots? छोटा करके है इसमें मेरे नोट में बहुत बड़ा था इसमें बहुत छोटा करके है. First is habitat degradation. The main threat to biodiversity is clearing of land for pastures and monocultures, which involve growing single crops on an industrial scale. then the may next is pollution chemicals from pollution kharab kar de raha hai pesticides dams most of the important rivers have been dammed for aaj dam ke liye uh, dam bana rahe usi liye asansol mein uh, ye flood situation ho gaya tha ha uh, itna uh, narmada dam you have to study narmada dam also it is there invasive species bahar wala species so from outside something comes and पूरा छा गया लोकल जो एंडेमिक स्पीशीज है बर्बाद हो गया देन जेनेटिकली मॉडिफाइड ऑर्गेनिजम्स उसमें जो जो ट्रांसजेनिक ऑर्गेनिजम्स को दे दिया जो नेचुरल पॉपुलेशन को निकाल दिया एकदम सो द बायोडाइवर्सिटी लॉस सिर्फ ट्रांसजेनिक चीज रहेगा ट्रांसजेनिक तो बैन है सो गवर्नमेंट लेजिस्ट्रेशन इसको कंजर्व कर रहे हैं देन नेचर प्रिजर्वेशन हो रहे रिड्यूसिंग अमाउंट ऑफ इन्वेस्टिव स्पीशीज जैसे मनी प्लांट मॉर्निंग ग्लोरी ये सब बर्बाद कर देता है इनवेश स्पीशीज फिर हैबिटेट को वापस रिस्टोर करना पड़ता है देन कैप्टिव ब्रीडिंग एंड सीड बैंक्स पकड़ के जो जू में पकड़ के उन लोग को मेट करवा के यू आर रिलीजिंग देम इनटू द वाइल्ड लाइक इन उड़ीसा इन भीतर कनी का देर इज अ रीजन वेर देर इज क्रोकोडाइल Uh, is uh, numbers are reducing so crocodiles are bred and then they released in the wild so all these things are there seed bank plants ke liye they are making the seed ka collection bana rahe and then they are releasing them in the wild research uh, lots of research is done then uh, you have to reduce the climate change you have to make a sustainable living sustainable development means that, that development Uh, can be maintained years after years that is known as sustainable development ye karna hai sustainable level uh, living education logo ko gyan vitaran karna hai jaise in your syllabus first thing you have environmental science compulsory so you are getting to know what is biodiversity hotspot this uh, this chapter is also important in your uh, biodiversity uh, in your environmental science so this is कंक्लूजन में ये है कि ऑल दो नॉट एंटायरली फ्री फ्रॉम क्रिटिसिजम हॉटस्पॉट अप्रोच हैज प्लेड एन इम्पोर्टेंट रोल इन कंजर्वेशन प्रायोरिटाइजेशन ये है बहुत इंपॉर्टेंट चीज ये समझ में आया जस्ट एक छोटा सा पार्ट बाकी है वो जेंडर सेंसिटाइजेशन 
वो बना नहीं वो बना के मैं दूंगा ठीक है लेकिन उसमें से क्वेश्चन भी नहीं आएगा क्वेश्चन इसमें से आएगा सर तो इस टॉपिक से रिलेटेड जो क्वेश्चन आएगा वो करवा दीजिए हाँ हाँ ये लिखा दूंगा क्वेश्चन अभी मुंह से बता दूंगा तो तुम लोग को लिखने का टाइम नहीं देंगे हाँ सर लिखवा दीजिएगा जब ऑफलाइन आएंगे तो हाँ 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 फ्राइडे ऑफलाइन जाओ सिद्धिन को लिखी देवन हाँ हाँ Bye bye then. Bye sir.